Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here on board the Norwegian Prima in Anda by Skarpetta, one of the specialty dining restaurants. In this video, I'm going to take you through a full dining review of a week on board the Norwegian Prima, but we'll kick it off with the complimentary or included options with the new concept, Indulge Food Hall. I absolutely loved it. Let me show you around. Indulge Food Hall offers a grab and go breakfast. So they'll have egg sandwiches like this croissant sandwich or an egg McMuffin sandwich. Next to that are hash brown bowls. You also have egg white and avocado wraps and you just go up, grab it and head to a seat. You'll find fruit and muffins and cereal as well. Now for lunch and dinner, you want to take a seat. So you'll find a seat like this table here and then you'll be able to order from any of the establishments in the food hall via the tablet. So you just press what you want and click order. Now, if you sit at the counter at one of the places, you can only order from that location. Tamara is the Indian restaurant. It was absolutely delicious. One of our favorite dishes was the chicken korma. And at lunch, they have what they call rice of the day. So they have three different rices that they cycle through each day. For dinner, you definitely don't want to miss the garlic naan. They have a traditional tandoori oven. You can watch them make it through a window in the food hall. Noodles is both Asian and and Italian noodles. We really enjoyed the pad thai as well as the englanade, which is kind of like a uh, ravioli. Q Smokehouse, you may know from the larger breakaway class ships. They have a great barbecue turkey sandwich. I really enjoyed their deviled eggs for dinner, and we found their spare ribs to be delicious. Tender, good barbecue sauce, good rub, but the coleslaw and potato salad is not good. Seaside rotisserie is more of your grilled meats, chickens, and kebabs. At the garden, you'll find custom salads. You can get about four different kinds of salads, and then you can add on all different kinds of proteins. So this is a great option. The tapas has cheeses and meats. You can basically order a little appetizer plaza. The Latin quarter has your typical Latin cuisine, you'll find nachos, but really the star of the show was this tuna tartar tostada. It was absolutely delicious. We got it every time we went to the food hall. It was so good. For dessert, there is a grab and go little dessert cart back by the bar, or you can get hand scooped just ice cream included. If you want something a little bit fancier, Coco's is here. Now these desserts will be for an extra charge. If you're looking for a more traditional buffet experience, you want to head up to the Surfside Cafe. Now, this is a little bit smaller buffet than you may be used to, but it has all of the staples. So you have your salad bar. At lunchtime, they have a focaccia pizza that is delicious or thin crust in the evening. You have your standard included beverages, iced tea, lemonade, flavored waters, your pot, your hot coffee, and your tea. There's a pasta station where you can add your own sauce and pasta. Now, there's two grill areas. So this is the grill area on the main buffet that had a number of different proteins. Proteins. There was a sandwich of the day every day at lunch. And then you have made to order stir fries in the noodle section or the Asian section, your cold cuts and cold salads, whole fruit. We were really impressed with the quality of food in the buffet. They definitely have narrowed down the list of items that'll be available, but the items they have are great. Now your proper grill is all the way at the back of the buffet. This is where you're gonna find your fries. They had two types of fries every day, waffle fries or sweet potato fries, as well as your regular fries, your hot dog, your hamburger. They also had a sausage of the day. That's gonna be all the way at the back of the buffet, which I think was a design flaw. The local is down on deck eight. This is available almost 24 hours a day. Um, it closes for about three or four hours throughout the day. You sit down, you order off a menu. It's all your pub favorites like chicken wings, spinach and artichoke dip. You have your Reuben sandwich, which I love. I highly recommend this Reuben sandwich. I thought it was delicious. The blue cheese burger was also very good. There is indoor and outdoor seating. In terms of the main dining room, Hudson's offers breakfast, lunch on sea days, and dinner. It has a beautiful setting. I really like this dining room a lot. We had delicious appetizers here. So this is from the lunch menu. So the spare ribs, this was the best tomato soup I have ever had. It was creamy and rich and had a great tomato flavor. This is the steak Thai noodle salad from lunch. Now I'd skip the butternut squash risotto. It didn't have a ton of butternut squash flavor. The burger was excellent. The smash burger. I love the sauce. You can also get a French dip sandwich. Now this is still all just on the lunch menu. 
The kale salad was very, very good if you like kale. I think they even massaged the kale a little bit. You can get your pasta with meatballs. They also had fried shrimp appetizer uh, at dinner. So now we've moved into the dinner. You could get a California roll. So a lot of great options here in the main dining room. It's a huge menu. This is the beet and watermelon salad. This is my favorite salad on the ship. And then this is the Buddha bowl. I got this for dinner. I loved it. So if you want a vegetarian option, that's a great choice. The Commodore room is the other main dining room. This is only open for dinner. Had delicious mushroom soups. All the soups were very good on our sailing. I loved this salad. It's spinach with hot bacon dressing. My mom used to make it all the time. This is the veal scallopini. This was very, very good. And then you can get sides. So I love how you can get like mashed potatoes, some vegetables. We're always looking for more vegetables. And here is the mahi mahi. Now this was terribly overcooked. Don't get that. The Observation Lounge offers sandwiches between three and five in the afternoon for an afternoon snack. For breakfast, it's a continental breakfast. You can get cereal, milk, yogurt, whole fruit, muffins, pastries, and a hot item. On this day, it was the egg white avocado wrap. So this is a great option if you don't want to fight the crowds. Now on to the specialty dining options like Anda. Frequently, Norwegian has a promotion where you can get specialty dinners included. Otherwise, most of them are a la carte. Let's see. Cagney's is the steakhouse restaurant. Reservations are very difficult to get here, so you want to be sure to go in and make your dining reservation as soon as reservations open up for you. We checked starting about 60 days before embarkation. Food Republic is an Asian fusion option. The food items are all a la carte. It's tapas style, so a lot of small bites, so you can try a lot of different interesting items. Hasuki is the teppanyaki restaurant. It's $59 per person set charge because you have that set menu. So this is also a great option for large groups. Le Bistro is the French restaurant and we had a lovely meal here. It, this is one of our favorites to head to. I think the setting here on the Prima is so beautiful. Of course, I had to get the escargot. They were perfectly cooked, so delicious. And I love their beet salad. I, with the goat cheese croquettes. I had the Dover sole. It was perfectly cooked. I love the lemon butter sauce. And my husband got the duck and he was very impressed with it. So usually he is a little picky about duck. And then this chocolate resort was a bit rich for me. Uh, wasn't my favorite, but he enjoyed a couple bites of the strawberry dessert. The desserts were our least favorite part of the meal. Las Lobos is the Mexican specialty restaurant, and it is very famous for its Mexican influenced decor. I love the theming of the different restaurants and it's tableside guacamole. Absolutely delicious. Definitely a must have if you head to Las Lobos. We also really enjoyed the salad. I thought this was a delicious spinach salad. There was a huge disappointment though in these steak tacos. They were inedible. I had to send them back. The steak was cold and hard, but my husband's shrimp was delicious. The grilled shrimp, the shrimp are big, plump, perfect. And I love the corn on the cob that comes on the side with the seasonings. And you have to get the churros for dessert very delicious. Now, this was the flan. The top was very good, but the bottom was very cakey and hard. Nama is the sushi restaurant. So this is a la carte sushi. It is separate from the teppanyaki restaurant. You can sit at the sushi bar or grab a table. Anda Bar Scarpetta is the Italian restaurant. It has indoor and outdoor seating. It's fantastic. We had a delicious meal here. One of my favorite things is in the bread basket, they include stromboli. Yep, there on the right, those are strombolis. The octopus was very flavorful. Now, it wasn't as good as the octopus at Palomar, but that's coming up next. I loved the short rib appetizer and the farro that came with it. The Frito Miso was perfectly fried, very flavorful. And the steak carpaccio wasn't what I was expecting. It was more just like raw medium rare roast beef. These are the raviolis. These are always my favorite. I get them every time. And the spaghetti bolognese. My husband loves this. The carrots were delicious. We really got into carrots on this cruise. They had really good carrots. I know that sounds weird. The spinach was okay. It wasn't my favorite, but I think they did a pretty good job on it. But this is the dessert to get. It's the butterscotch dessert and it's absolutely delicious. Now, just to give you a sense, they do give you a bill at the end of it. We had the dining package. 
Palomar is the seafood restaurant up on the pool deck. And it's really weird because you have to walk through it sometimes to get to different places. So you're eating in this beautiful setting or outside here. And here comes someone in their flip flops and their bathing suit cover up. So a little odd, but we had a wonderful meal. Highly recommend the grilled bread that comes is very good. This octopus was exceptional. Those are little potatoes sticking up as well. The beet salad was all beet, which I love. And we also really enjoyed the seafood salad. So it had kind of a tomato base instead of a traditional ceviche. I got the monkfish, which is very firm. I had never had monkfish before. We also really enjoyed the sides. Definitely get the carrots. The carrots are amazing here. And then my husband got the Dover sole here. Also very, very good. The chocolate dessert was very rich. I really only liked it when I took a bite with the caramel corn. The chocolate ice cream wasn't great. And then this is beautiful, but didn't taste all that well. And if you don't like any of these things, you can always order room service. It's $5 for breakfast or $10 for all day dining. And that's per order. So that is my dining review. What did you think? Have you been on board the Prima? What were your meals like? Or if you're scheduled to go, what place are you going to eat at first?